what more do I need to do? It's a wonderful question we heard today from that young man who had a great zeal to follow God. There are times we also may ask this question in a different way. I have heard sometimes people say that, I don't know, I'm a reasonable good Catholic. I go to church, I follow the commandments, but I'm not very happy. There is something I'm lacking. Another day, one person came to me and said, I had a wonderful experience with God. Now, I don't know. I'm not getting that connection. I don't know what to do. What more do I need to do? It's a very profound question. We all have to ask to the Lord. The first part of the gospel we heard this person approached Jesus, a rich young man. And sometimes we are all rich in many ways. Without time, with the talents God has given, with the treasures God has given, and in a way we feel that we are rich in a negative way sometimes because we keep things for ourselves. Example, when we keep our intelligence for ourselves, that will turn to become pride. Our flesh for ourselves, that will turn to become lust. Our wealth for ourselves, that will turn to become avarice. What is important is to have a right relationship, a right attitude towards God and our neighbor in everything. And today's gospel, obviously, it's very clear that rich man said, Jesus said, you have to keep the commandments. Everyone knew commandments those days. They felt like commandments is very important. And sometimes we can stuck there. You know, the commandment also says, don't kill. I remember my moral theology professor, a wonderful man in Rome, he used to say that, like, if we say, like, once, don't kill, the hundred times we have to say and promote the life, that's the message. The message is not negative, always positive. We should give life, spread life, live the life. That's very important. It is not, we should not be stuck there. That's what happened to that young man. Young man said, I'm keeping everything. But at the same time, I am not very happy. Something is missing. There is a vacuum. There is an emptiness in my And this rich man was asking, what more do I need to do in order to be perfect? Because Jesus said, Matthew 5, 48, be perfect like your heavenly father is perfect. None of us are perfect. We are always on the journey to become perfect. And Jesus said, go and sell everything you have and follow me. Again, what is the message? What Jesus is saying to you and me? You go and sell everything tomorrow, you know, and follow me. The most important thing, Jesus knew where his heart was fully caught up with all the things he had. And he didn't want to give up. Jesus is always looking at our heart, the disposition of our heart, our attitude, our aptitude matters much. Even in our life also, as we are attending this Mass, some of you also may feel like, hey, 
I am also missing something. I am coming to the church. I am saying my rosaries. I am a reasonable good Catholic. And some people also may say, like this young man said, I am keeping all the commandments correctly. But still, I am missing something. Well, what Jesus is saying, we need to hear. Jesus may say many different things to us, not only connected with the money we have, but many other things. We might be stuck in different, different areas of our life. The Lord may say, hey, give up that. And sometimes we may think like this rich man. He might have thinking, hey, I'm, a, you know, I have everything. If I sell and everything, how am I going to live? How am I going to be truly happy in this life? Because these, comfort, these comforts are going to make my life. That's what he was thinking. But my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if we give our life to Jesus, we will always be happy. Again, that message is not literally, materially, material, but rather our heart. Like Pope Benedict always used to quote that beautiful saying, the words of Saint Benedict, don't put anything before the Lord. That is what is the possessions. That's what we need to take away. Maybe during this mass, during this week, we can pray. What is in front of me and Jesus? Is there anything, is any obstacle? What am I need to, I need to change. Is there anything to change in my life? If we change that, the moment we take a good decision, God works. And you will feel very happy at the end of your life. You also will be able to say with Francis of Assisi who said, I think I am the greatest man on earth because God has given to me his extraordinary grace in my life. For that grace, we can pray during this mass with that young man. We can also pray what more I need to do? What am I need to give up? 